Hi everyone, you know, I think I missed the memo that Vlogmas was over. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Merry Christmas everyone. I hope everyone is having a fabulous, fabulous day. I am just having trouble getting myself motivated to get ready for the countdown to New Year's. And I just had to, I found my antlers, starting to put some of my Christmas outfits away. And I found the antlers that I lost earlier. So I had to wear them at least one more time. Didn't want them to feel unloved. And I came across this ugly sweatshirt I have no idea how I missed this one because this has got to be one of the ugliest, ugliest or funniest ones that I have. So I just had to kind of sneak this one in. And like I said, I'm just having trouble getting motivated because I know I have to, I should have done this before, but I have got to go in my closet and dig out some kind of festive items to wear for the countdown to New Year's. I'm probably going to wear the same things I wore last year. I just have to find where I put them because I might have put them in a box or I might have put them in storage bags. Who knows what I did with it last year, so I got to look for them. But I did put away the a white Christmas tree and the inspiration tree already. This one, it might be up till February. I'm, I'm just going to take my time taking it down. And no sense kind of wearing myself out doing Christmassy things when Christmas is over, right? But anyway, I just uh, watched quite a few videos today and did some commenting. Not caught up yet, but I'm trying. So I want to thank everyone who's been commenting. And I'm so sorry that I'm so slow at getting back to you guys. But um, I did notice on the video that I did yesterday for the Vlogmas 24 and I'll link that up there because to enter into that giveaway there was a code word and there was kind of like a two-part thing to let me know what you thought was the ugliest Christmas sweater or outfit of the day so that I can give myself an award so next year when I pull it out I can say this one was the 2022 winner but to enter the contest you needed to enter the code word and there's quite a few people that didn't but they did tell me what they thought the costume was that should win and so I didn't know if they didn't really want to enter the contest or not so if you did enter and you did want to enter and you did comment just kind of check that out again to make sure that if you did want to enter you use the code word so that it will be fair when I pull the names to do to do it and whatever so yeah I don't want any hurt feelings afterwards but anyway so it's been a day of just kind of sitting back and relaxing getting up in between movies and putting some stuff away and you know I really need to get going on my countdown to New Year's so I'm actually going to cheat and I'm going to take part of most of the bottles out of here stick them in the refrigerator so that I can lift the box without making any noise to walk down the hallway to put it in there and um, I'm so looking forward to that. I just have no idea what I'm going to wear yet. But I wanted to have one more, one more cup of coffee before I get myself made up or whatever you want to call it. And my whipped cream is melting. I wanted to have one more cup of coffee. So I've got that uh, one that I picked from the Carrick 24 Cups of Tear. This one is the Donut Shop. It's the Duo, so it's Nutty and Caramel. And I put a little bit of whipped cream on top. This is just from Target, their brand, so it's pretty nice. And my caramel syrup. So my whipped, like I said, my whipped cream is melting, and I've already had a few sips. I'm gonna have another one before it gets cold. Hmm, so good. But anyway, I'm just gonna show you this ugly outfit of the day because it's worth showing, even though it didn't make the 24 days of vlogmas so anyway it's a, like a men's sweatshirt here so he's got a hairy chest he's got a beard here so maybe it's supposed to be santa with this kitty cat sneaking out of his beard he's got some gold chains on we've got christmasy tattoos and of course hairy arms we've got a hairy belly button and i can't find it but i even got a belly button ring on this t-shirt and some somebody's hands come around and holding my belly so anyway just another fun shirt to end vlogmas with and um yes yeah, so i'm going to 
try to figure out what to wear and get started on my countdown to New Year's. Probably going to be a few hours before I get myself motivated to put a face on and get dressed up. But for you guys, it's just going to be a second or two. So anyway, we will see you guys in a few minutes. Alrighty, so here I am back again. A few minutes for you, a few hours for me. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to wear. I think I got this dress back in, I think it was 1999. I think it was the second year that we've been, that we were here and we were going to a company Christmas party and I just thought it was sparkly. It was it's velvet. It's got some kind of coppery <coughs> silver and gold sparkles on it. Of course, I had to put my touchstone crystal jewelry. Really don't need any more bling with this dress, but I do I get my earrings, my crystal Swarovski earrings on. Um, yeah, I forgot where the rings are from and some arm bling from Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski. So it is a floor length gown. Again, it's like a nice stretchy velvet. And then we've just kind of got like a, it's just a nice, it's got these sleeves and the uh, shoulder pads. I just always left them in. They could probably come out. And then just all kinds of sparkles all over it. So it's just a really nice festive dress. I thought it would be perfect to open up the countdown to New Year's. So, you know, I've only got like two New Year's uh, nutcrackers. And this one is from 2000, so I would have got it in 1999. And again, this one came from Target. And I think that's part of the problem is when you're like me and you wait for the after Christmas sales, you don't always get first choice. So I've only got this one and another one for a New Year's um, nutcracker. But I'm happy with the two I have. So we got Father Christmas and the baby new year alrighty so we are opening up and I just checked on their website to see if they had any of these um, advent calendars left and they are all sold out this one was the sparkling wine from givethembeer.com they had different uh, beer advent calendars and spirit calendars they had a man one that was like beer mixed with nuts and some jerky one that was just jerky and it looks like they're pretty much all sold out so I don't know if they'll be bringing them back or if maybe they'll just have some specials here and there throughout the year. But again, that was givethembeer.com and that was where I got my sparkling wine from. So yeah, I thought we would just kind of get into this because I already did a little bit before it then. Tomorrow night, maybe I'll do an unboxing or something with it just to try to move them along for my snack. And I just have a couple of crackers. I got some pepperoni. I've got some jalapeno cheese and some mild cheddar cheese, just in case the uh, jalapeno one's too hot. So that's my snack for tonight. And I've got my champagne flute. This one's got like the gold on the bottom and just some some crystals on there. So I thought that kind of went with my dress, even though the silver one would go just as well. Alrighty, so the first one that we are opening is Sakura. Viudas Cava. So this is a brute. Not sure where this one is from. Let's see if it tells us on the back. Probably not. Well, it was bottled in White Plains. And it was imported, but I don't know exactly. Oh, it's from Spain. So it's from Spain. It was imported and bottled in White Plains, New York. And as Phoebe would say from friends, it sounds like a magical place. Alrighty, so let's open this and check this out. I hope everyone had a fantastic Christmas and that Santa was good to everybody. And you just had a great time. Maybe you didn't overeat. This looks like it's looks like it might be hard to open but you know we're going to give it a try because you know like uh, Rick's doctor would say you know you really should quit smoking and he'd say doctor you know I'm not a quitter so here we go okay let's try to open this so yes yeah, so I hope you know maybe I'll try it without maybe it's a twist off maybe not but anyway I hope everyone had a fabulous day with your family with your friends your fur babies or you had a nice quiet day it's a twist off had a nice quiet day at home i put away some decorations today i put my trees on either side of me away today 
and looking forward to another day off tomorrow. Maybe catching up on a few more things and getting to chat with everyone. Anyway, so this is the first line for the countdown, sparkling line, champagne for this countdown to New Year's. Cheers, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Best wishes for a happy and healthy, healthy New Year. That's the most important thing. Take care of yourselves. Cheers. Mm. This has got some really nice flavor. It's I did put it in the refrigerator earlier with a couple of other bottles so that I could carry this down the hallway. It's nice. It's crisp. It's light. It's nice and dry. It's got some nice flavor. I'm going to enjoy this with my appetizers. I'm going to go back on YouTube, watch a few more videos, and maybe a few more Hallmark movies. So cheers, everyone. Welcome to the countdown to New Year's. I am so happy that you guys are here to join me. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun, guys. Love you guys so much. See you tomorrow.